Allah is calling you towards Darus Salaam, towards the house of peace and tranquility. Peace. Darus Salaam is Jannah. Darus Salaam is paradise. Allah is calling us. The Creator Himself is calling us. Every individual man, every single man, Yad. Wallahu yad'u, wallahu yad'u ila dar is salam. You see, and he does not want a single person to enter into the hellfire. He doesn't want that. And the, in the Quran we see in Surah An-Nisa, ayah number 147, you see how God is concerned about every individual. Allah says, ما يفعل الله بعذابكم إن شكرتم وآمنتم وكان الله شاكرا عليما. Allah has nothing to do. Allah will not gain anything if He puts you in torture. Allah does not need that. If you are thankful to Allah إن شكرتم وآمنتم and if you have faith in one God. And if you are thankful to him, he doesn't need to put you in hellfire. In fact, you know, he doesn't want a single person to face any torture. And it is very clearly said, is Ali. He's told, he is totally knowledgeable. He has complete and total knowledge. God, the creator God. The total knowledge. And Shakir. Shakir and Alima. He knows about people since he has the total knowledge. So he rewards them according to the thankfulness of the people. He's very fair. And he's not unjust. If a man is more thankful than other, so he shall be rewarded more than the other person. Is Shakir is very appreciative. Is very appreciative about the thankfulness of mankind. And we see in Surah number two, two ayah number twenty-one, the entire humanity is called upon. 
يا ايها الناس اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم you see three things يا ايها الناس او مان كاين there are three things here اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم اعبدوا is the first thing and رب is the second thing and الذي خلقكم is خالق is the third thing so uh, the, these three things are in a sequence First thing we must know, he is the creator. Allazi khalaqakum. He created you. Number two, he is Rabb. He is nourisher. He is provider. He is looking after. And he, not only he is creator, but he is monitoring. And he is responsible for the life and death. He is watching the people. He is providing air, light food and whatever man needs and whatever the other creation needs he is rub so we should submit to him we should obey him we should worship him and it is very very clearly said in the quran about the people of book the jews are jews and christians are specially addressed. He said, وَلَوْ آمَنَ أَهْلُ الْكِتَابِ لَكَانَ خَيْرًا Allah says, if the people of the book, if Jews and Christians, accept Islam, accept the last book, and they accept the last prophet, Muhammad sallallahu it will be better for them. And Allah said, مِنْهُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُ There are some people who shall become Muslim. They shall accept it. But many of them are disobedient to the will of God. And Rasulullah was also very much concerned about the entire humanity. He said, and he, O oh Muhammad Sallallahu you are so much concerned about the entire humanity. You may kill yourself with the grief that these people are not accepting Islam. So the Islamic movement also uh, is reflected by the well-wishing of the entire humanity. As Allah, the Creator, is well-wishing. And Muhammad Salasam is a well wisher. Allah, the God, He doesn't want anybody to be punished if they accept and if they become thankful. Muhammad Salasam is very greedy that everyone should enter into paradise. Similarly, the people who are with this movement, they are also very greedy and they have a big heart and they want every person from different countries, from different backgrounds, from different languages, from different colors, that they all are children of Adam. They are brothers and they should enter into paradise. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.